Good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming through today, this happy Saturday, blessed morning. Hope you all are up, energized, and ready to go do your thing today, no matter what you're doing. If you're lying around the house, you're just relaxing, you're doing some gardening, you're doing some lawn work outside, you're cleaning up, you know, different parts of your house. And, oh, why the hell, you just chilling like me right now. I'm making a video up in my kitchen area. But I'm just trying to come to you because I've been on another uh, social media site giving out all the entertainment news. Yes, it's called Reality Blurb. I'm sure you fa um, heard of it, found it on your social media uh, streams coming across. Or if not, go to their website, Reality Blurb. Dot com. They have a lot of sensational stories about our entertainers out there in the industry. Okay, but we're going to be covering one today from their uh, wonderful site. Uh, they got a story out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Four people involved. NeNe Leakes, Kenya Moore, Cynthia Bailey, and Marlo Hampton, honey. Yes, we got all four dipping and diving. Uh Throwing blows here and there verbally, you know, hitting below the belt, all that kind of stuff. And I'm bringing it to you along with Allison Shepard. I'm going to go into it. She's one of the journalists or commentary folks over there trying to uh, write up a little article on sensational entertainment uh, news. And I'm here for it. Okay. I read a little bit of the story. And basically what they're saying is Cynthia was getting on Marlo about some tape recordings that she's supposed to be shading Nene heavily in, and it got released uh, somehow. And some parts of, let me bring Yovana in now too, she's supposed to be holding down all this evidence that she has recorded on the conversation where Cynthia Bailey is supposed to be talking bad about Nene Leakes, okay? But then we got the heavy hitter coming in, twirl, twirl, twirl. Twirl like a tornado, like a tornado. Come in and tell us stuff. Come in, break down stuff. Come in, twirl, twirl. We're talking about Kenya Moore, right? <laughs> the fabulous tornado twirling all over the state of Georgia, okay? Showing up and showing out, basically. And her target enemy is Needy Leaks. Yes, she wants to just put her down, put her out of her pasture, or put her in pasture retirement time so she can reign. Right. Behind Marlo Hampton, you know, she's coming up now. She might be sitting on the sidelines and taking little bits and pieces y'all throw at her. But she is a threat. I'm telling you, she wants that peach. She might come hungry for it and we might receive and give it to her. Or they may receive it and give it to her, uh, which is a long time coming in my book. Because I think if she come in as a real standing peach holder, she's going to drive Nene Leaks on out the dough. Okay? Because she'd be coming with some heavy receipts. Not saying I like how she played ball, but she delivers the drama on a silver platter for everybody to partake of, okay? That's all I'm saying. She'll be backing down either. She'll be having people like, you don't believe me? Okay, well, will you believe this person? Will you believe that person? Because I got them on deck. They can come on and just tell you what I'm telling you. But since I'm a part of the group, I thought I'd break it to y'all first. But if y'all need, you know, some real heavy hitters to come in with the true tea, you know, they will be nameless. And, of course, we won't have them on camera because then they want to check. But, hey, however y'all want to pay my child paycheck, y'all can't. But I, I, I got them. I got receipts. I got live and in color uh, real life human beings giving dropping receipts. Okay? Um, but that's basically how I was reading. So, I could go on and get into the story. This commentary on her spin, her perspective, and where she got her information from. All right? The title goes... Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore almost came to blows during Real Housewives of Atlanta cast trip. What led to confrontation? Now, of course, you know, they over there filming in Toronto, Canada, and they get into a, like a little Mardi Gras type thing called Carnival over in Canada. You know, they dressing in a little little uh, attire, uh, gyrating up and down the streets, I guess, getting notoriety of who they are and what they represent, that kind of stuff. Free publicity. But we go on into the story. It says a recent cast trip to Toronto amid uh, amid filming on the upcoming seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta almost turned into a full blown brawl, putting Nene Lease and Kenya head Kenya Moore head to head. Okay, season twelve of Real Housewives of Atlanta hasn't even aired yet, but we're already hearing about all the drama going down. And as usual, Nene seems to be at the center of it all. Okay, then we tell you. 
she's like the nucleus of drama and mess. All right, that was my part, not in this article. Getting back to the article, it says it's all reportedly started at a dinner at Laveo in Toronto last week where the women were seen arguing around a table. The night had already gotten off on the wrong foot. Nene allegedly had her breast hanging out. Now that was, ooh, that was a sight to not be seen, okay? I'm like, Nene, you're seasoned, baby. We don't want to see those uh, flipper flappers out for everybody to see. Maybe some men of your age in general, maybe some uh, young pieces of meat will probably want to, you know, gyrate on you and have fun with them. But baby, we don't want to see them, okay? And I know when you get a little tipsy, you start coming out your clothes a little bit, especially if you ain't wearing little or nothing and if you went too much of a little outfit i'm sure the big boo was, was coming out okay but it wasn't no babies to be you know trying to feed around now if you get my drift all right okay but like i said the article goes on saying needy was exposing her breasts okay this led some of the housewives to believe she was under the influence can't hold a liquor so she started talking shit you know when you you know don't drunk too much that's when the truth comes out of a person or what they really feel about a person or a situation okay they be speaking their truth they just don't know that they're under the influence and once everything has dried up and she's become back sober she's gonna deny 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 but we all know true feelings True intentions do come out when the alcohol is flowing fresh through the veins, okay? Yes, it does, but I try to keep mine on a low key. I'm going to tell you how I feel, <laughs> whether I'm under the influence or not. So if anything come out, it's going to be the same. I can still tell the same story, however it went, okay? Uh, getting back to the article, it said, but the argument was just an appetizer to the feast of drama that was about to go down in Marlowe Hampton's hotel room. A source told the Love B. Scott site that Cynthia... Bailey started arguing with Marlo over supposed audio recording of her trash talking about Nene Lee's. Okay, that's why I said you don't want that told, you don't want nothing revealed. Keep it between you and the Lord. Okay, because you know the Lord ain't gonna say nothing. He's just gonna judge you on that time when it's time to bring that big book out on you or your life's lessons and stories and everything you did uh, pertaining to being on this earth from A down to Z, yeah, he has the right and the final say of what's going to be done to you. If you going around him willy-nilly telling your good, good girlfriend or your ace boo coon, your dog that's supposed to be riding with you with like four flat tires, they could get loose at the lips sometime too. And the person that they deem is one of their good, good girlfriends or they uh, uh, type of person holding them down, they get to pass the information around. You see what I'm saying? Loose lips sink ships. Okay? Get into that. All right? But getting back to this article, we go on. It says, the source says that when Kenya jumped into the mix defending Cynthia and insisting the audio didn't actually exist. However, some of the women believe the audio is alive and well. And in newbie's housewife, Gail Yovana. Y'all remember Yovana, the one supposed to be licking up as Nene's uh, side chick friend that she can only be filmed with at the time? Yes, it's in her possession. <laughs> and I ain't that the pot calling the kettle black. Okay, Nene gonna be out with her by the end of season 12. So she gonna be, oh, let me see. She gonna have nobody on her side again. She's gonna be indifferent with all the women, including Miss Yovana. All right, but getting back to the article, it says from there, things allegedly escalated with Nene and Kenya getting into each other's faces. Ain't that high school, y'all? Ain't that high school? But back in the day when I was going to high school, back in 81, 82, up to 86, girl, you could put hands on people. <laughs> you could strip them down from the sole of their top of their feet. Well, dog, Lord, to the top of their head, to the crown, soles of their feet, honey. Yes, you can whoop them up just as long as you ain't use nothing like no chains, belts. Axes or anything like that, knives, you were cool. If you just used your hands, it was just okay. A simple and brawl fight, they let it go. Now, in today's time, my daughter's time, you could put hands on somebody in high school, junior high school, like that. You're going to juvenile, now. You're going to jail. If you're 18 or 19, girl, how times have turned. How they say you just be using your hands and stuff, you live another day. But these folks coming out with weapons that can end your life. You know what I'm saying? So, uh uh. Why we can't have the old times like they once were? Just go on and fight each other, you know, use your hands, put y'all in the ring, get the boxing or whatever. You're going to get tired. And then you're going to probably forget what the hell y'all was fussing about in the first place. Because you're going to took so many blows to the head, to the stomach, to the chest. You're going to be like, damn, was it really worth me calling your mama a, a, a itch or whatever? Or you, you, 
you talking about my mom was it worth it no let's just let's just agree to disagree and not even coming to each other's faces unless we're going to get back in the ring and fight and get exhausted again i'm telling you, you step there and try to wrestle with somebody or fight somebody for more than five minutes you tired <laughs> you are tired trust and believe it okay but anyway that was my sidebar picking back up on this article it said from there, things allegedly escalated with Kenya and Nini getting into each other's faces. At one point, Ken Kenya reportedly even told the OG Atlanta housewife to shut the fuck up. Okay, now that's Kenya's backing him well and in charge now because she loves to call people hoes, bitches, uh, let me see, sluts, uh, anything she could possibly throw out the hip below the bill. Kenya got a, a fire mouth. I'm thinking she had cleaned herself up since she had a baby girl. She's trying to do the right thing. But, you know, these videos don't go what, go nowhere. They be archived. So, you know, if you want to act, you know, all crazy and carrying on and calling these people these out their names and, and being bullying type, okay, keep on because your, your daughter's going to grow up and then she's going to see how vindictive her mom was. Okay, so Kenya, you need to slow your roll, set a good precedence. You know, you could cut somebody out without using verbalness, or you could just use one of those bad words, okay? But don't go give them a whole little catalog, a list of words that you like to say of profanity and putting it on another black woman or woman, period, you know, or any other uh, minority or culturally based race. All right, moving back on to the article. It says, and if all that drama wasn't enough, Yovana and Portia Williams also reported starting arguing after Yovana utterly uh, uttered something about Dennis McKinley, the reality star's on and off again fiance. According to the source, Yovana got sent home from the trip early. <laughs> so see, even Yovana is starting mess. Okay, first she was over there with Eva Marcellus trying to make her remember her back in the college days. And Marcel, Eva, was saying, I don't remember you, girl. I don't remember you. Who are you? What What time ago was that? What year? Girl, clock Atlanta? Uh-uh, I don't remember you. <laughs> and Eva Marcel, no, she probably good and well know that lady, but she didn't want to take the shine and give her too much focus So, because she wanted to be on this Atlanta Housewives uh, show as well. But like I said, she's trying to solidify herself. But I don't think, I'm telling you, I did a, 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 video a, while, a video a while back saying she's supposed to be traveling to Dallas, Texas, uh, to go and hang out with uh, Ricky Smiley Morning Show and do that. She says she not, y'all. But we're going to check it out. We're going to see. We're going to see, okay? Because at the end of the year, people supposed to be making some moving arrangements, okay? They're going to be coming alive, large, and in color. And, you know, in Dallas, Texas, not Atlanta, Georgia. So she's trying to, I guess, negotiate her contract maybe with Atlanta Housewives. And they probably said, baby, you gone to go. You ain't that really a, 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 a main, main playing factor that we need. So we could stand to lose you here. We might put Shamari to go back on the block if she could contain her drinking. Okay, if she could contain her drinking, maybe we could do something with her and replace you all together. So we'll continue to peak that situation as it progressively gets closer to the time of the end of the year. Because their new show that um, Ricky Smiles is supposed to be taking over for Tom Joyner because he's retiring. It's supposed to take effect on January 2nd, 2020. So y'all peep game with me. So we can go and do a story on how uh, even my sale lied or didn't lie. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so Yvonne is starting her mess trying to talk bad about uh, Dennis McKinley, knowing that's going to peep um, Portia to go in on her because that's her baby dad, okay? And in recent developments, we have seen or have been shown, I don't really know because it still ain't come, come out of uh, Portia's Williams' mouth that she has rekindled her flame back with her fiance, and maybe they're planning on getting married at the end of this year, 2019. I don't know, but like I say, once a player, always a player, unless he confess all his sins and repent from that behavior. And like I said, you can't do it overnight, but you can show and give leeway that the person is changing by watching their demeanor each day. At each day, closes what well, starts and closes at each business day. 
So if they're making strides and you don't know, see them doing the go, you know, the change over six months to a year, and they seem to be, you know, on point about you being solely in their life and not they're not cheating behind your back, they're not uh making you look kind of crazy out in these social media streets, then you can say, okay, this person changed, but a person can't change overnight. No ma'am, no God, okay, no Lord. So it, it has given it has been given to us in social media that they have made amends, that they are going forward with their uh, marriage and they want to uh, let everybody know they're working on their marriage. We need to work on our issues. OK, and that's a fair play. That's a fair play. But don't keep coming in social media and somebody saying, oh, this person, I'm following this person, this person. I follow this person because of cheating scandals and this, that, and the third. Because, like I said, once a cheater, always a cheater, unless that cheater wants to confess, repent, and change. Okay, and I just don't see that happening right now. I really see uh, Dennis as a manipulator and an opportunist, and he's taking the format or platform that Portia has. Uh, and she's too ignorant to kind of really see it because, honey, I'll be like, uh uh, we can still date. Uh, right now, but we ain't talking about no kind of marriage until next year. And so we could be engaged here. We could be engaged for three or four years, you know, before I say I'm going to trust you fully. Okay. And it's not just about stuff being put out in social media. I know what we do behind closed doors and I've had stuff in my gut or in my back of my mind that some ain't kosher right here. So yes, I'm going to have to evaluate you. I'm going to have to look further into this relationship deal before I be saying, I'm finna sign my marriage license that I'm your wife and I'm gonna be faithful to you, but you still doing shit behind my back. No, we ain't finna do that. And then you had to go, you know, sign. You don't want to sign prenup agreements, and I don't know if Portia gonna be stupid enough to not sign one. I mean, come on now, you already shaded from the other marriage you had, and you walked away with nothing. Least you could say you definitely was a boss. Have your own hairline. You on a reality show. You on a radio uh, show as well. I mean, come on, keep your coins solid for your daughter and the empire you're trying to build for yourself and for her. Okay, so you can give her a good start off where she don't have to work for nobody. She can become her own entrepreneur, and she got your backing because you got her back financially as well as uh, mentally and emotionally. So come on. Um, Portia, you're going to have to do better, girl. You know better. We know we have seen you grow a little bit. So you know better. So I need you to do better. All right. And start chasing after these men to say, oh, yeah, I got a husband. I got a husband. Yes, we're doing the darn thing. Now, you already have a platform. You already have gold sitting at your doorstep. You are already a, a queen. Make sure your princess is taken care of. All right. Because his mom is definitely making sure. He's getting solidified. That's why they want you to sign that prenup agreement so you can't come in and take the wealth that they have acquired, Miss Portia. Okay, but moving on from there, going back to the article, it said all this went down just after Nene ended her rumored suspension on Real Housewives of Atlanta, one which she denies was ever implemented. Now, we know Nene is going to definitely come in and come out uh, smelling like a rose in her book, how she's going to paint her own picture and narrative of her own story being written. Okay, now... Nene ain't going to miss no money. So it ain't hard. It ain't too far-fetched to know she got suspended. That's why we didn't see her at the first part of the show. Because everybody, they get, they um every episode that they take, they get paid, okay? So every episode Nene is missing, she's not getting paid, all right? This is not how her contract goes because we don't heard too many uh, ex Real Housewives of Atlanta's co-stars or cast members say it. You get you if you're not in an episode, you don't get paid. So it's it's critical to film, <laughs> okay? So you can get a nice rounded check when it's time for the checks to be cut. So hey, then you know she put hands on the cameraman. Should he have done what he did? No, he's just search, searching for more footage he can use uh, for each episode to be very sensationalized, full of drama and mess. So and it probably gave him a little bonus by getting stuff. You know, set off that way, but he didn't know he's gonna lose a tube. He didn't know he's gonna be slammed up against the wall. All this bodily injury going on, and this um, we call it mental abuse going on in his head. He can't believe this woman is attacking him. Okay, but anyway, like I said, it was some fault on his part, and it was definitely some fault on Nene's part. And I'm pretty sure she got docked for it. But going back to the article, it says, find out what really happened on the past trip. To Toronto during season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is set to air sometime later this year. They usually come back in the fall. You know, after kids, I went back to school. We settled them back into a new routine, a new season to come to play. And I'm talking about weather changes. Fall. 
you know. So, yeah, we're going to look at it. We're going to see what we can. We know they're going to have some boring episodes. We're going to sift through all of that, and they're going to show us a few episodes that they really are getting into it. So you can start rooting for your favorite housewife's cast member or whatnot, and who's going to take it home towards the end of the season. But like I said, really like the story. I really like uh, going to different, uh, what do you call it, uh, platforms to get entertainment news. Reality Blurb is one I'll be using uh, for the near future. So we're going to give uh, shout outs and props to Allison Shepard, who broke the story two days ago on her employer's website, a uh, vlogging website called Reality Blurb. So for more entertainment news, if you like the story that I got from them, go on and check them out for yourself and get pre, um, uh, previewed or pre-broken down for stories that I might cover. So you can kind of be familiar with it as well. So when I bring it to you, when it comes to me giving my spin and my perspectives, you already done read the article, so you know where I'm going with it. But you just don't know my perspective, and that's what I'm giving to you, my perspective, my opinion on said matter. So, again, y'all have a happy Saturday. You know I will be back with more commentary and more videos breaking as I see fit and how they come across my media social media feed and if I want to cover it okay because I'm one of those kind of people I don't cover everything I don't cover in and everything some things are just not worth a second take on okay but the ones I do find kind of entertaining kind of make me go hmm why did that happen let me read a little further let me put a story out <laughs> okay but y'all be blessed I'll catch y'all next video bye bye